friends, my name is Mani and today I'm here in the admission department with Mr. Alexander and I think he will be telling us some more information and uh, about shortlisting with the universities which is an important topic for the students here in Germany as well as in India. Mm -hmm. So can you please tell that how a student can shortlist the universities and while shortlisting the universities what are the things the student need to keep in mind? Yeah, um, the first thing is to do um, several applications, this is something we always recommend to our students, uh, not only to apply in one university, but to do several applications, at least five normally, mm -hmm. also for those uh, students who need foundation course, student college, mm -hmm. and they should do several applications, and then um, it always also depends on the individual situation, it depends on the grade mm -hmm. which a student has, mm -hmm. and also depends on the subjects. Yeah? Sometimes we also have students who can do different mm -hmm. courses, sometimes we have students who can only do one single course, yeah. and then we recommend the best solution to the student. Okay, so for an example, mm -hmm. a person who has taken uh, mathematics from mm -hmm. India, mm -hmm. so he can apply for which student group? Yeah, with mathematics, normally can the person can apply for technical mm -hmm. problems, thing, and sometimes mm -hmm. also for economic, okay. so for V course, uh, um, economic related foundation course. Mm -hmm. um, but then it also depends on the other subjects what is possible. But this is an individual evaluation of the documents. And I think the marks also plays a very important role. Yeah, sure. The grade is also very important. The average. Um, we look which average the students have in the German system mm -hmm. because the German system is different from mm -hmm. the system in India. Mm -hmm. And then we evaluate, we calculate the German mm -hmm. grade, and then we see what is probable, what mm -hmm. is possible mm -hmm. for what the person can apply. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, is uh, apart from applying to the student who need, I mm -hmm. wanted to know: is it possible that uh, they can apply through UniSS and they can apply directly? Yeah, it always depends on the university. We mm -hmm. Most universities um, cooperate with UNISYS, and then they don't have other choice, they have to apply by UNISYS. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the university or one university doesn't cooperate mm -hmm. with UNISYS, then they have to apply directly. Mm -hmm. But normally it's an advantage to apply by UNISYS because mm -hmm. then they only have to send one set of documents. Mm -hmm. And if you apply in each university individually, then you always have to send all documents. It can be also a bit um, okay. difficult. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, would you recommend some student colleagues where the student should not skip? I mean, is it easy mm -hmm. to get an admission? Yeah, the first thing is we don't have student colleagues at each university. Mm -hmm. yeah? um, normally, I think we have something like 20, 30 student colleagues in mm -hmm. Germany, mm -hmm. and, but sometimes we only have one student colleague uh, for one whole region. Mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. So, it also depends on, uh, on this. Sometimes a university offers bachelor master but no student colleague, then mm -hmm. the students cannot apply there. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are also um, student colleagues which are more popular than mm -hmm. others. For example, the student colleagues in big cities like Berlin, Hamburg, Munich are very popular. Sure, there are many, many applicants, and then there's uh, much concurrence. Mm -hmm. um, but for example, the student colleagues in smaller cities, in universities, universities of applied science, mm -hmm. like for example, the city of Köthen or mm -hmm. the city of Zittau, Görlitz, uh, they are maybe there's less concurrence and then the chances are higher to get acceptance there. So it means the uh, smaller the city, the better the opportunity. Yeah, normally you can say this, yeah. Yeah, okay, but they should not lose the hope for the big cities as well. No, no, they can try. It's always possible to, to apply there, mm -hmm. but they, that's also the reason why they should do many uh, several applications, mm -hmm. because then the chance of uh, if you do at least five applications, then normally it's very probable that the, that the person get acceptance mm -hmm. in one or two student colleagues. Okay, and when they apply to the student league, so what level of German they should yeah, normally they need B2 level. Yeah, for B2. the for foundation course for student colleagues they need B2 level. There are also some student colleagues which accept B1, B1 mm -hmm. and they can apply, but the chance is much higher with B2, and because as I said, it is it's always a ranking, it's mm -hmm. a concurrence with other students, yeah. and we always recommend to apply with B2. Yeah, so I think uh, this is very important information, mm -hmm. and uh, if. If someone has more questions, they can write a comment, they can email mm -hmm. us, and we'll be really happy to answer. Yeah, thank sure. you.